What's going on, my PT peeps? My walking dead family, my fighters. I'm one eye bright, also known as PT. I don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead series finale. Rick and Michonne are back. Spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. If you don't know what we're talking about, you don't want to know, please stop watching now. Well, we're going to talk about the ending a little bit. And also, I want to break down the Rick and Michonne stuff where it's pretty interesting. We saw Rick's kind of location a little bit, but we'll talk about with Daryl and Carol we're talking about. And you can see that Carol, they probably redid this scene here so that Daryl goes out on his own, but Daryl leaves the Commonwealth. You see Ezekiel at the top, you see Judith and RJ, and Carol looks on. And as Daryl drives his motorcycle away, rides his bike away, he drives past a couple walkers, one of them being Greg Nicotero, right there. Pretty great scene. Greg Nicotero has been a walker several times. He's the executive producer and the director of this episode, I believe. And as Daryl goes by, he goes to parts unknown. We know he goes to France, and we know that we can think that it's some sort of connection with Rick and possibly the variant cohort, maybe Michonne. Maybe he's trying to find something. Does he get kidnapped? But we know he goes to France for some reason most likely connected with the world beyond stuff and will hopefully make some sense there maybe the primrose team stuff from ohio there you know it wasn't really explained but that's what the daryl show would be six episodes to find out what it's all about and normarita said he's got to find out what they're talking about because they're speaking french then we see this match someone has a match and we find out that it's rick grimes and it's awesome to see rick so technically rick and michonne were in the final episode and it worked it's not like, when I was thinking of they would show up, it wouldn't be them going to Alexandria. Be like, we see the ending, but then we got to see how they met each other. But here it sets the tone why Rick hasn't come back, Michonne to go after him, and it's pretty cool. At first glance, they're both writing down, and they're writing stuff in different books or journals or pieces of paper. And it's like, wow, what is going on here? Did they find each other? Because it kind of jumps around a little bit. And you see that she's writing and then he's writing and he puts it in a bottle. And you know, if you want to pause that and break it down. But the big thing is that he was trying to get back and he couldn't. And it's kind of a cool way of connecting the series where they came from. You see Rick does the whole thing where he sees Carl and Lori and this person and that person over the course of the series, which is great because it's the finale. You got to see where they came from. And then you see the same thing with Michonne. She looks at, she sees Rick and she sees the family and she sees this, which is kind of a big deal that she left her kids, right? No mom or dad would do that, but we had to deal with it because they left the show. But we see Rick looking down and the whole time I'm like, come on, wipe your nose. The things bother me right there. But we see some nice callbacks and he sees Herschel at the prison. And then we see Rick and Michonne thinking about each other and looking at each other, and it's nice. The whole thing about a finale is to come full circle. Start, middle, end. You see Michonne, seeing Judith and RJ, and it's just a cool thing, and I love both of these characters, and you know, you gotta love the Grimes family, so it's just a cool thing overall. It's pretty obvious what they're doing, they're connecting the dots, and we know that Michonne cares about her kids, and Rick doesn't even know about RJ yet, you know, it's gonna be kinda cool to see how they integrate that but we'll see that they'll probably reunite at the Commonwealth instead of Alexandria, which works because the Commonwealth can be filmed at their studio and not the Alexandria Sonoy neighborhood. But you know, it's just cool to see Michonne at the prison and Rick and Michonne in the van and stuff. And again, it's not a big deal. The big deal stuff is later, but the Rick and Michonne series is supposed to be a limited run, limited series, six episodes. Is it gonna be two seasons or what? What if it's awesome? What if we want more of it? What if people love it and they watch? Could we get more than one season? I just want to accept that we're going to get six episodes and hopefully they're done in a way that's awesome. But all this stuff is the stuff we saw before. And it works because it sets up Rick and Michonne in their future series, but also connects the dots on the show. Comes full circle. It's a finale, right? You got to end it. And it worked, in my opinion. And I think there was different scenes that were going to air here and stuff was going to be here, but they decided to change it. And... In my opinion, it worked. How about you guys? Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Did it work for you? Really, the last 10 minutes is all you need to watch in the finale, especially after the Rosita stuff and Luke and Jules and Rosita die. And then we get to the Commonwealth stuff and Palin Milton Falls. And then we finally get to the good stuff here. Michonne looking across the fire. And we're like, okay. So Michonne's at a fire. 
and then she glances or looks across the fire, we think, but then we see Rick. And we're like, oh, did they find each other? And the answer is no. The way I interpret it was, Rick is doing his own thing. He finds the stuff. He leaves the boots behind in the bag and everything on the boat. And Michonne is tracking him down. We know that Michonne found the phone and it's the similar stuff that we saw before, but we see how Rick is connected. And then we see Michonne, like present day Michonne, I guess, or something. We see her katana, we see a horse, we see a sweet new outfit. We see some leather around some spots to protect her. And we see the phone. She was writing in her journal, as we know, but we see the etching on the phone. And as Michonne looks across the fire that has burned out, we see the bag, the boots, her helmet, you know, the stuff that she had before, plus some new stuff. Then we see Rick. He's got no shoes on. He's got a CRM jacket, jeans, and he's writing some notes or, you know, there. And he looks across the fire the same thing like Michonne does. So we see their connection. Now we see the same bag, the boots, some canned food, and one of the weapons like we saw in the world beyond. So we see that Michonne is packing up her stuff. At the same time, we see Rick doing it too. So again, they show their connection. But this is not two different phones. It's the same phone. Because again, Michonne found this on the boat that we will see Rick throw his bag onto. So we see her notebook, we see the phone, we see the brick now has the phone, the bag, the boots, canned food. So we're like, wait a second, is it two different phones? He has one, she has one? No, it's the same phone I'm going with. She found it, he did it, kind of set it up, and he's you know packing his bag up, and he finishes his letter, note, and he puts it in a bottle, and then throws the bottle in the water. So a message in a bottle, right? can't really make out what it is, but you see Rick, it's kind of blurry, but if you want to pause it, let me know, break it down. But again, he, you know, bottles it up and throws the bottle in the water, which is cool. We haven't seen the note. This is something new. Does it go down to Oceanside? We still never got to see Oceanside in the finale. Didn't see Virgil, didn't see Oceanside, didn't see Cindy, didn't see Rachel, didn't see anything to do with that, but could we see them again? And then we see Michonne chop off this walker's head as she's on horseback, which is awesome, right? You know, Michonne, the katana, it's a great weapon. Michonne's my favorite character, so it's awesome. And she's riding somewhere. And then we see a beach scene with some walker heads and some walker bodies. And all I could think of when Rick comes out barefoot is, dude, watch the walker heads, man. And why are you barefoot? Is it to cover his tracks? Because the boots would have, you know, more tracks to it? but he throws the bottle in the water and you see all the bodies around there and everything too. Chucks it in there, great CRM jacket, pretty cool. And then he gets his bag and throws that into the boat. But again, I'm getting ahead of myself. And we start to hear like a helicopter coming after Rick. And again, all I could think of is his feet, the walker heads, watch out, man, you're gonna lose some toes or lose a foot. But we hear the helicopter and we didn't see the CRM stuff on the show but it's connected with Rick and that's where we're going after the show. Probably all three shows will have CRM connections there too. But again, he gets the bag and now this is when he throws it into the boat. You don't see the boat at all, but he launches the bag into the boat and it's the same boat that Virgil and Michonne had. So again, he launches it there and you can see the surroundings by the shoreline and all the walker bodies and everything there. But we don't know how much time has passed, what is going on here, Why are they going after Rick? Why didn't Rick get away further? You know, it's just hard to tell. It's just a, it's a quick scene, but we see the bag get onto the boat. And then we see, you know, Rick again, walk down the shoreline with the walker heads, which are pretty gross. And I just don't know why he's barefoot. Is it to cover up his tracks? Please let me know. Why do you think he's barefoot? But we know Rick left the boots in the bag and Michonne got the boots. So that's why it makes sense. Does it fit? We'll see. But Rick looks up and a helicopter, I guess a CRM helicopter, is coming after Rick. Then we see Michonne riding on horseback with, you know, her medieval style gear, her katana. She's on horseback and I guess she rides into a bunch of walkers. It's hard to make out what she actually rides into. But Rick is looking up as the helicopter approaches him and you can hear it. And then Rick 
finally takes out this walker head, uses the weapon from the world beyond that we saw on the show. So we get to see some connections. Will we see some world beyond cast on the Rick Michonne show? I hope so. It would be a nice connection for those who watch world beyond, but Rick looks on and I have to say, Andrew looking looks great. And it's one of those things where, yes, Rick is back. I'll take it. Michonne, she's back. I'll take it. But this is pretty cool. Like, I'm not sure of medieval armor and stuff, but is it samurai related or what is this? But it just looks, you know, badass. The horse has got leather on and stuff and she rides down the way. But again, it's Rick, Michonne. You see the eyes, you see the connection. They're just building it up, building it up. It's very, you know, done very well. It's just shot, you know, pretty cool. You see Rick, you see Michonne, you see this, and then you see Michonne riding the horseback. And I guess those are all walkers. Right? Like, it's hard to make out. Are those people? Are those walkers? Where is this? Is this in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York? But then we finally get to see Rick puts his hands up. And the distance I'm going with, that's Philadelphia. And if you look at the boat, you see the numbers 672. Same boat that Michonne and Virgil were on. Where's Virgil at? Didn't see Virgil in the final part. But the helicopter comes down. And so if I'm guessing this is... The waterway here is the Delaware River. And Philly's in the distance. And in the ledger here that we saw, the whatever booklet thing, it says New Jersey. And that's where Rick is, I believe. So I'm guessing this is New Jersey on the side here where Rick is. And in the distance, it's Philadelphia because it works on multiple levels. You see some bridge or you know walls or supports here are broken down. Maybe that's how Rick got out. But at the end of the world beyond, we thought this was Philly. And it fits very well if it is. And it also fits to me in New Jersey. And who's going to New York and New Jersey? Maggie and Negan in Dead City. So will there be more connections there? Will Dead City, The Daryl Show, and Rick and Michonne, obviously their show, connect with Rick and Michonne? I hope so. Because we know that Dead City is going to be in the New York, New Jersey area. So it fits. Rick, New York, New Jersey, Philly you know, the tri-state area. And then Rick looks up at the helicopter and smiles. <laughs> you don't know who you're messing with, right? And then it does the little dissolve or whatever you want to call it, the little transition. And now from the white screen, it goes to Judith and RJ, who are at the Commonwealth, by the way, not Alexandria, which is very telling that I'm guessing that Rick and Michonne will go to the Commonwealth. And you see the windmill, you see the Commonwealth trooper armor, like scarecrows, you see the crops and everything, you know, there, and that's the end. Well, Daryl riding is the end. But it's awesome to see Andrew Lincoln as Rick. You know, it's not the biggest scenes, but it's awesome. My idea was the hospital stuff, but I'll take this. You know, with Rick and Michonne being involved with the writing, this is from the thank you fans part and the stuff afterwards after the uh, show ended. But I love the outfit that Michonne is rocking. Very, looks like a Xena warrior princess style. And it's just cool to see Rick and Michonne back and I'll take it. But it's gonna be so long till we get to see them again. The, the word is that they're gonna start filming in January. And if it's six episodes, it's usually two weeks per episode. So that's like three months, 12 weeks, four weeks in a month times three is 12. So three months. But Rick and Michonne are back and the connections with the etching on the phone, the you know travel log on the boat or the naval cruiser, whatever you want to call it, New Jersey, Philadelphia, across the Delaware River. I'm from New Jersey, so I know that very well, Walt Whitman Bridge and there. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. What'd you think of the Rick and Michonne stuff? Did I miss anything or do you disagree? Please let me know in the comments, but I'm excited to see Rick and Michonne, and this is the first step in that. 2023 can be a great year for The Walking Dead Universe, Rick and Michonne, Dead City, and The Daryl Show. Thank you guys either way. I know it's sad that The Walking Dead is done, but big things can still happen in The Walking Dead Universe. The main show is over, but enough characters survived that we could see them again. Thank you guys. Stay safe, and as always, tell them, Daryl.